Okay, a new program called Recoding Futures hopes to provide a training ground for or reskill indigenous job seekers to arm them for careers in high demand jobs in Canada's tech sector. And the first group of students have just graduated, ready to get into the workforce. Pablo Listingard, executive director of Commit, and David Patterson, a Metis graduate of the program, joins us live now on CP24 Breakfast. Pablo and David, great to have you with us this morning on CP24 Breakfast. Uh, really appreciate your time to talk about this important program. Pablo, I want to start with you. It sounds like uh, this program is really a collaboration between three groups. We've got Google Canada, Commit, as well as Inspire, and you all have this common goal of trying to really lessen this long-standing gap, uh, especially when it comes to education between Indigenous communities and non-Indigenous people across the country. So tell us more about this program. That's correct. Uh, good morning, Jennifer. Um, well, this program started uh, as a way of uh, trying to give back to our community, trying to uh, do something about a uh, problematic that we have. On, on one side, we have uh, lots of companies complaining in Canada about the lack of talent, about uh, the skills gap and, and many other things. And on the other side, we have so many talented individuals like David here uh, who are struggling to, to start uh, this to have this first opportunity to to land a job in, in technology. So the idea for this program along with Google was to uh, provide a free opportunity to get trained in technology along with other things like resume building and interview skills and other things in which we can help to um, to increase the probabilities of them getting hired. Okay, and let's turn to you now, David. Are you a graduate of the program, and can you tell us what you'll be doing? Uh, yeah, so I just graduated a few weeks ago, and uh, right now I'm just looking for my first entry-level dev job, and I'm working on my own projects right now. Okay, and how long did this program take? Walk us through uh, when you first signed up, what, was, what were the courses like? Uh, so I signed up, uh, I think it was four months ago, and then... For the course, it's around three months and then three classes a week. Uh, it was great. I mean, I had a lot of support. We learned a ton of stuff about development and a lot of skills that you need to land that first job in a really short period. It was awesome. Okay, that's great to hear, and congratulations, you just graduated a few weeks ago. Uh, Pablo, I want to turn back to you. So Google Canada, they announced, I think it was a, f a month ago or a few months ago, that they would be committing $2 million to get people in the tech sector, indigenous uh, communities or people from the indigenous community in less than six months. And then they also announced an additional $600,000 uh, to this program. So uh, can you tell us how COMMIT actually helps students like David try to transition from learning to get into the workforce? Will, will David be able to secure a job because he's graduated from this program? Does he get a degree? Well, we are working on that, actually. Uh, David can, can tell that uh, during the last couple of weeks, uh, we've been sending his resume to, to different companies. The way that the, that the program works is that um, it consists of two stages. The first one is more as an introduction to programming, where people, anyone who is over 15 years old, can register and take one month of learning how to program websites. And then for those who are interested in pursuing a career in, in technology, they can follow up with a three-month program. Both of them are, are completely free. And they will learn different technologies that are really required in the labor market. And specifically, David took a uh, course on full-stack Java development. And then what we do is not only, as I said, to help them with uh, building the resume, to uh, working um, on their interview skills, but on the organization side, what we do is try to connect with hundreds of companies across the countries and be there whenever they need talent so that they let us know that they are looking uh, for talented individuals and then we are there to provide them with resumes and try to, to connect the dots. So uh, it is all about not only training the people, but also being there whenever the other side needs uh, to find that people like David. Okay, well, Pablo, it sounds like a concrete program with a, a very good objective. We appreciate your time this morning. David, good luck to you. We hope to uh, hear from you in, in the future. And thank you both for joining us on CP24 Breakfast. Take care.